So, today I am going to just present one case study of one of our project that is a redevelopment or a major upgradation of Ajni railway station. It is in Nagpur, Maharashtra and it falls under central railways and under ministry of railways. Uh, design team uh, I am leading the architecture part, I am also a design director of the project as well as the structure engineering is taken care by the Sterling engineers Mumbai and MEPEF uh, consultants are Arctic uh, engineers uh, based out of Ahmedabad. Okay. So, uh, as just to give an overall overview about the Nagpur, th there are four uh, stations, Nagpur junction being the main and just before that two kilometers before that the Ajni railway station comes. So, from that perspective Ajni becomes a very important kind of a node among the railway route because Ajni will be taking, Ajni is being envisaged in a way that the major load uh, that Nagpur is uh, currently having it, they want to shift that to Ajni because uh, there is a lot of space that is available with the Ajni uh, at uh, Ajni site. So, currently there are only three platforms and uh, there is a one small building on the west side, we will see that in the next slide, yeah. So, this is the one, uh, okay, let me see where I can point, okay, perfect. So, over here as we can see, uh, this is an existing uh, metro uh, line that is going, that is a Congress Nagar metro station, the people who are familiar with the Nagpur, they must be knowing it. Right beside that, there is a very small uh, plot that is available and that yellow color building is the existing station uh, on uh, Ajni, Ajni railway station. So, this is the west side, that is the east side, that is the Nagpur station that comes uh, on this side, the Nagpur end and the Mumbai goes towards this side, so Mumbai end. So, currently uh, like I said that is a platform number 1, 2 and 3, that is the only infrastructure that is available at Ajni right now. In future, there are two, uh, 4 more railway platforms are going to be uh, come up and also a new station building is also being planned at the east side, so that the load is reduced because city is being developed on the east, uh, eastern side. So, uh, the, uh, the people um, basically the corporation and also the uh, railways, they want east side to be developed uh, on a major front. That is the overall uh, master plan. Uh, I was talking about the Congress Nagar metro station which is here, the existing station which is here, we, we are going to dismantle the existing station and uh, create a new station building with uh, three floors uh, on the western side. On the eastern side there is a railway station, it is a mixed use building, so three floors will be for the railway station and the above floors will be for the offices or a hotel building that will be coming and adjacent to it there are two other uh, building, commercial building that are being planned which will be on a commercial nature. There is also a idea to uh, seamlessly integrate uh, through various mode of uh, transportation. So, Congress Nagar metro station will be linked with the new station building that we are planning as well as a new bus station is also being uh, envisaged as a part of a phase 2 uh, plan uh, which will be also connected with the east, build, east side building. So, if we see the west building and east building will be connected via central FOB or a foot tower bridge. So, there will be a, a one FOB uh, 18 meter wide which will have a, a, a kind of a mechanized walkways uh, which will take uh, people uh, passengers from uh, eastern side to the western side and then these are the respective platforms that are being planned. That is the overall view uh, when the entire all the phase of uh, constructions are being completed. So, uh, that is the Congress Nagar metro station, that is the, uh, the elevated concourse and the two FOBs that are coming up, that is the central FOB that connects to the eastern building and the east building that, that will be having a commercial on either side and also on the upper floors. Right now we are developing only the lower part that is only three floors of this building. In future a uh, bus station will be also planned which will be connected uh, with the east building and these are the various other uh, uh, commercial building that might come up. So, that is the phase 1 planning. So, right now the under construction is the phase 1 where uh, we are constructing the west building, uh, north FOB, south FOB, the elevated concourse, the central FOB and the east building. The passenger movement is as such that entire premise, all the premises buildings, foot tower bridge are seamlessly connected with each other along with the Congress Nagar metro station uh, which is already existing. That is the overall view how uh, it will uh, look uh, as a part of the phase 1. That is the uh, existing uh, uh, scenario, the status uh, what is under construction right now uh, as a part of a uh, phase 1. This is of an April 2024. <laughs>
entirely in steel construction uh, the video just got disconnected but anyways so you get an overall idea about how the structures are going to come up as far as the passenger movement is concerned on the western side we have a very limited space so however we were able to carve out uh, certain areas for a four wheeler two wheeler and a three wheeler parking that's a auto rickshaw that is going to come up. that's the west building so west building essentially will house only the passenger related uh, uh, amenities so that's a uh, booking counters and the uh, security check and then all the passengers will be taken to the concourse area where there will be waiting halls and then the roof plaza that's a elevated concourse which will have uh, all the amenities and restaurants etc that's the view of the proposed new west side building station building what we see over here is a through roof that is spanning from both the FOBs, so North FOB to South FOB. So it's almost like about uh, 100 meters long. That's the another view drop off area at the uh, west side. That's the overall interconnection that I was talking about. Uh, at the centers, as we can see, these are the railway lines. That's the elevated concourse, 72 meters wide and 80 meters. That's the South FOB, that's the North FOB. It is connected with the West Building, uh, Congress Nagar Metro Station, and there is an entire loop that is being connected. This is the Central FOB, which will then lead to the east side of a, uh, east, east side, that's the East Station Building. That's the internal layout and the passenger segregation, because the uh, overall idea is to have a uh, segregation of the arriving and the departing passengers. So passenger who are coming, they will have a separate uh, dedicated uh, set of uh, escalators, staircase, lifts, etc. And for the passenger who are arriving, they will have their own set of uh, uh, circulation elements. Uh, this uh, being elevated concourse, there are going to be a waiting rooms, there is going to be a food plaza, uh, kind of an all, all sorts of an activities that a passenger required. That's the overall uh, passenger movement. So blue color are the arriving passenger, red color are the departing passenger who will be taking the train from this station. That's the uh, overall uh, cut sectional view of uh, the integrated uh, FOBs so with the concourse and with the metro station. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, Revit model view of the proposed structure. So we are taking a steel construction for except the two buildings, rest all the structures are in steel. So that's the South FOB. Those are the uh, just the model views of the South FOB, about uh, uh, 300 empty uh, steel that structure steel that we are going to use in it. That's the elevated concourse uh, with all the uh, drywall partitions that will be coming uh, and also uh, all the other uh, waiting areas that will be coming. That's the 3D views, uh, structural views about 600 empty uh, that will be going in this also. Just like a uh, South FOB, uh, North FOB is just a replica of it, just on the other side. Uh, so these are the uh, quantities. That's the east side building, which uh, Central FOB connects to. Uh, it has all the railway offices, uh, officer rest house, uh, holiday homes, etc. So basically a small sort of an uh, hotel arrangement, about 30 odd rooms that will be housed over here. These are the various floor plans. That's the uh, current phase one elevation that is going to come up. That's the view. So uh, the beauty uh, of the entire station is to have a through roof. So through roof is a spanning, like I said, from the North FOB to the South FOB. The arrangement of the columns are such that, that every 36 meter there is a column. That is uh, uh, the supporting column of the through roof. So what we see is that there will be a very less column on the uh, platform and more space for the passenger to move around. So as we can see in this image, that's the one and another column is coming after 36 meter. So, and that's a through roof. Uh, it's, a, it's a small, small pyramids and a one uh, jumbo pyramid, three number of jumbo pyramids that are going to come up, which will bring the natural light uh, onto the platform. That's a view from the other side. That's a view on the uh, elevated concourse where uh, various uh, uh, food plazas and waiting areas, premium waiting areas, etc., are going to come up. It's going to be naturally ventilated uh, at the concourse except the certain spaces. That's the central FOB that leads to the east building. That's the view of the food court. 
these are step by step how it's going to come up. So that's the east building, platform 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's the central FOB and that here is the east building. This is a view at uh, uh, the FOB level where we can see all the FOBs are interconnected along with the central FOB and the east building and the uh, metro station. That's the one step above. That's the framing plan for the uh, through roof that I was talking about from the south FOB to the north FOB it is spanning and every 36 meters there are columns. And that's the overall completion view uh, after the phase one construction is done. That's the entire uh, frame model of the uh, proposed development. This entire thing is in steel. So that's the existing scenario what we see and how it's going to be get developed. We are going to dismantle like I said earlier and create a new building. So just these are the salient features. Uh, overall uh, phase one building, uh, phase one buildings are uh, west side uh, building, east side building only three stores, three stories and then the elevated concourse, uh, north FOB, south FOB and the central FOB. And a lot of uh, uh, development is going to be over the track. So steel is going to be a uh, quintessential material that uh, will play a major role uh, in this uh, project. It is uh, estimated to be completed uh, by the end of 2025 or early 2026 at the estimated project cost of 300 CR. So all we know, uh, people will be talking about since the morning that what are the benefits. So this is the project where we are going to capitalize on the steel and, the, and its advantages. The faster construction, the uh, integrity of the structures and the large span like a 36 meter like I was talking about. So we have a more freedom, a more a movement space for the passenger on the, on the platform. These are the some of the projects uh, that uh, uh, currently we are doing. Uh, we completed uh, the iconic uh, Gandhinagar capital uh, railway station along with Hotel Leela on top of it. Bhuj railway station is already uh, under construction which is also in a steel construction. Entire, even the station building is also in a steel construction in zone 5 area. So uh, all the projects that we are doing all are under registered for IGBC platinum rating. So all the, the highest level of uh, the green building certification that we have applied to and uh, currently uh, we are progressing towards that and uh, positive, very extremely positive feedbacks that we are already getting uh, from the authorities. So not just the FOB, uh, various structures uh, can be done in the steel. So it's about time that in Gujarat we will be seeing uh, two railway stations, uh, one is a Bhuj railway station that is going to come up and also one Ambaji railway station that we are going to take up uh, that will be also in the steel and uh, Somnath railway station as well. Right. So these are all the, so these are a few of the projects that are going on currently. So that's the Ambaji at the bottom uh, right, Somnath on top, uh, Bhuj railway station on the bottom left. Apart from the railway stations, the other projects that we are taking up. So we are trying to integrate steel as much as possible just because uh, we get a lot of space, a lot of uh, carpet area, a lot of usable area, especially uh, in the areas where uh, we don't have a typical kind of an arrangement because now we are going on the modular. Even all the uh, people are uh, preferring that uh, after down the line five years, I want to change the entire nature of this building then a steel building will give me that flexibility because there will be no columns, RCC columns or grids or anything uh, which will create a constraint for us uh, in the future. So we are trying to promote as much as possible uh, and wherever is possible, <laughs> that's important. So I thank you with that note, uh, thank you for giving an opportunity and if there are any questions we will take up later at the end of the session. Thank you so much, thank you.